Hey guys, want to show you uh, more of our heavy sound uh, this week. It's not that aggressive, but it's um, it's pretty crunchy and low, and you can make it into sort of Reese kind of basses. Um, this is the initial sound. So it's a low uh, rumbly bass, but the cool thing is that um, even when I disable all this stuff, it's still pretty aggressive and that's uh, mainly the oscillator. And I can mute this on the effects as well. It's gonna be a little bit softer in volume because of the shaper. But to make that oscillator, um, we'll set it to dual. So we have basically two uh, oscillators stacked on each other. We set the width all the way to 100%. And then in the effects, we'll choose the expander. I set it to minus uh, 68, and we'll choose the band works, which is a band pass and band reject filter. On the left side, it's a band pass. On the right side, it's a band reject. And then we modulate that both with LFO 4. And LFO 4 is just a standard LFO set to uh, one one fourth, a quarter note, and then we give it a lot of vibrato, uh, 80.5, and we detune it uh, by minus 20, and then we set the reset on, so that the oscillator uh, restarts every time you pr uh, press the note, it makes it sound a little bit more uh, consistent. Key scaling is the same, and the sync is set to 15, which is a weird value. That's what's giving a lot of the character because at 12 and just a normal interval, it's a bit boring. But when you set the weird detuned values, you get those kind of sounds. And um, then what I did is um, I also did use noise, but I think it's a little bit too extreme. Let's try it with noise. And without, so it's a bit extreme, but we can try and lower it a bit in volume, and maybe we can modulate that with that same LFO 4 that is on the oscillator effects. Or maybe something a bit quicker, like... Um, So you can choose, it, it depends on what you like. You can also not use it. I'll disable it for now. And then we have an FM oscillator. And that makes it uh, sound even a little bit more uh, gritty. We set it to um, frequency modulate by input. And then we set the FM to 40.5. We tune it down uh, two octaves. And as you might have noticed, um, I did tune down here 20%. And I detune here up 20%. Uh, percent. It's not percent. What am I saying? It's a cent. <laughs> 20 cents. And here up uh, 20 cents. So uh, I'm, I'm sort of compensating for detuning here. And it's not going to be perfect, but that's what I want. And now it's a little bit less detuned and still sounds uh, quite gritty. And the other thing you have to do is on the FM oscillator, you see this circle here. And you have to click it to make the sound more to make it sound more stereo. Easy trick, easy to do and makes it sound a lot better. Then we use the cross modulation filter. And I set the upper filter to band pass and the lower to band reject and a low pass. This is a combination filter. And I'll round them in parallel. So that means that I can use the both of the filters separately. And the offset is all the way to the left. You could also modulate this, but uh, I'm not going to do it for now. And then I set the cutoff quite low, resonance quite high, 44 and 47. And I used the filter FM. So now this FM oscillator is um, frequency modulating the cutoff. Doesn't make a huge impact. It adds, it adds a little touch of something. We can also use another oscillator to frequency modulate that FM oscillator. 
by right clicking and then side chaining from a different oscillator. Something like that. Um, but for now I'm gonna set the side chain to receive from this FM oscillator. And then I have a normal low pass filter here that I modulate a little bit with um, these global LFOs. And they're all just very subtle to add a little bit of movement. Like this one, um, you can set the global LFOs to um, user and then you can draw in the lines here yourself. You can choose between steps and lines. And you could also do this just with a normal LFO, but I think I was... Oh no, I have LFOs left. I could also just choose um, LFO3 and then set it to sign and the amp down and then set it to 116. It's gonna give kind of the same effect. So and then we have a gritty sound like this. Um, I think there's that's all that there's to it. Not really, uh, not a lot going on. Oh, although I did use the arpeggiator. Does that make any difference? No, it doesn't make any difference. You can just leave it on a uh, on poly, polyphonic. Um, and that's it. But. I can um, imagine that you're wondering, okay, what can I do with this sound? Well, normally when you want to make heavy drop bass crazy sounds, um, this is not going to be enough. And what you can do is, I'm in uh, Logic right now, so I have my sound right here in MIDI, and now I can bounce it down, and it will be a beautiful audio file. And now there's a lot of a lot more stuff that I can do with it. I can um, just use the first part, for example, and I can uh, stretch it out, make it really slow. Or I can try um, some granular synthesis, and then I can really um, add some highs. To make it a little bit brighter, and then I can bounce it again, and I can let's try to use some UE stuff. I can try to filter it some more, um, maybe with um, the decimate filter. A bandpass filter in the second lane, bandpass, um, which I'm going to modulate with an LFO, and I'm going to modulate the first one with a slower LFO, and then I need to feed some signal into the second lane. I can do it on the input page, and we set this one to one uh, half note, and this one to a quarter note. <laughs> faster okay and now we can try to bounce it again and this is how you uh, in the end how you get some crazy sounds by just doing all sort of random stuff to it and making it more aggressive each time and um, now I can time stretch it again and now I need to uh, distort it a little bit or make it a little bit louder and I can try the speed. Sounds 
So um, those are some few quick ideas of how you uh, take your zebra sounds uh, to the next level. Now I get this. I can even stretch it again. I don't care. I go crazy. And then you can throw it in a sampler and um, you just just as an instrument. So um, I hope that is uh, that I was not moving uh, too fast. Um, but here are just some few uh, a few small ideas to to take your sounds to the next level because sometimes you can do it all in the synthesizer and you have to do some additional uh, stuff like this. So uh, thanks. I'll see you next week.